Hi, Commissioner. There have been a number of reports, not only from journalists, but from clergymen and businessmen uh, coming out of the Afra, uh, which shows that there has been heavy bombing of civilians. What's the federal government's answer to these allegations? Well, the federal government's answer to these allegations is that these bombings have been grossly exaggerated. And these have been caused by three main agents. One is the belief that um, we are out to wipe out the Igbos. Secondly, the one-sided um, uh, picture painted in this country by both televisions. And thirdly, the amount of propaganda that has been pumped out by the rebels themselves in Europe. But there's no doubt, is there, that there have, there's been photographic evidence showing that civilians have been killed, for instance, in open marketplaces in Biafra. Yes, this has been, um, uh, this allegation has been made. But this, the problem there is that those who make such allegations do not bother to inform the public that such markets are very close to strategic targets. But why bomb them if you're obviously going to kill lots of people who are just not expecting to be bombed? Well, the thing is that, it's, as I said, the policy of the federal government is not to bomb non-military targets. We go out to bomb military and strategic targets. In the process, if uh, some civilians are killed accidentally, well, this is not done deliberate. And is, we, is, is it not a fact, sir, to say that because the Biafran population is being squeezed into a smaller and smaller space by the activities of the Federal Army, that it's almost impossible now to bomb anything in Biafra without hitting civilians. That is not true, because um, you hear the uh, rebels themselves, according to their propaganda, they've cl claimed to uh, uh, recover more land, and so such places are, are subject to bombing. Why is the bombing not followed by immediate advances, uh, tactical advances by Federal troops? Well, I have no evidence to the fact that it, uh, to that effect that it's not followed. Are the bombings terror attacks designed to break down the morale of the Biafran population? Certainly not, because um, I think we would be the most stupid people to do anything of the sort. After all, we are trying to build one country. How do we build one country by terrorizing them? You see, it, it goes to prove to you that this is not a deliberate act at all. After all, we've got over 4 million Igbos in our own area, which have been taken by the federal um, uh, authorities. And we, if we want to wipe out or terrorize the Igbos, that's a, a very good place to do it. But we haven't done anything of the sort. Uh, High Commissioner, during your news conference today, you talked of the pilots who had bombed um, uh, targets. And you said, if these uh, pilots uh, bomb civilians, I would be the first to kick them in the backside after all, these bombs cost money. Isn't that rather a cold-blooded way of looking at it? No, it's not a cold-blooded way of looking at it. I'm just trying to emphasize that certainly it is not our policy for them to bomb non-military targets. And we would consider anyone who goes about using such expensive bombs to wipe out people, which doesn't get, bring any, uh, any benefit to the, to the fighting, then it's wasting our money. And what is more, then it is not um, of any, it's counterproductive. Why not call off the bombing and get the Federal Army to go in and fight man to man? Well, um, as I said, this is for the uh, military authorities to decide. High Commissioner, thank you very much. Thank you very much.